Greetings everyone. Uh, today I'd like to continue my random talk about the random stuff and I just came from a business trip. I went to Beijing to see a um, Beijing ceramics market. I googled it and I found Panjai Yuan but uh, Panjai Yuan was um, not exactly you know, this mainly ceramics but it's ready-made ceramics. No, you know, these uh, tools or you know, materials it's uh, Panjayan, it seems to be um, um, in this Beijing antique market. So, uh, so it continues. Um, today I would like to um, talk about the uh, uh, Mongolian term, uh, for, you know, this opposite term of a sin. You have idea of sin, uh, there should be idea of uh, anti-sin or something that you know this the balances the sin good deeds goodness and etc etc i guess uh, you know this the closest term for a uh, term in english it's going to be goodness sin is bad this uh, boing uh, anti sin is uh, good good thing goodness so in my previous video i told you that um, um, if someone is like looking pretty handsome stuff, um, it's called the face poem, uh, face goodness, something like that. So it's uh, um, it's quite important for uh, someone uh, you know this sharing their beauty in the public, um, in this dressed good, looking good, and etc. etc. This is called also believed to be good deed that is going to be um, work uh, in this counterbalance to a sin you know this funny strange idea you know um, so um, why uh, why we need this idea well um, it is because uh, our way of explaining this reality you see um, there's a lot of you know this foreign influence here in Mongolia um, Chinese wants to sell their products and bring their, you know, this um, feng shui. Um, Christians want to harvest our souls, so they bring their Jesus, something like that. So, um, uh, about the Jesus. Jesus said that it is easy for uh, uh, you know, this camel to go through a needle of a eye of a needle than a man go to uh, kingdom of God, something like that. Um, this is a similar message to uh, Buddhism. You must refuse from the um, material stuff in order to go to both the realm. You must refuse from the alcohol. You must refuse from the woman and etc. etc. But um, we Mongolians, some of us, believe that uh, these gods are not the gods. Uh, who created this um, reality uh, in reality you cannot you know this uh, remove the material stuff um, uh, from your life um, I cannot remove this t-shirt and be built naked and sitting naked on the front of a camera and something like that or you know this um, um, I cannot put you know this the carpet of Ching Sang on the floor and uh, stepping on it so i have this somehow a respect towards the material world uh, you know, since this um, has this carpet with the ching hang has uh, some spiritual significance for me i cannot you know this disrespect it something like that so uh, um, in my previous video i told you that um, Mongolian term, uh, this boing, is closely related with the word wealth. So, um, it means a wealthy person ca is uh, capable of creating great goodness compared to a shit poor person. Um, you can, you know, this, uh, you know, visit a shit poor family and ask for food. Uh, it will be seen as a, some kind of a pressure. Uh, they cannot provide you with the food, they cannot provide you with the shelter, they cannot, you know, this, um, uh, you know, this do good stuff. I told you that, you know, this in my previous video, there are some poor people 
who uh, live in a poor condition and abuse each other. Physically and verbally abusing each other is sin. They um, live in endless uh, stream of a sin. Fuck you, sin. Uh, hit someone, you know, this sin. Uh, abusing alcohol and two spitting on each other, you know, this face is sin. Everything is, you know, this uh, can be called sin. They they live this sinful life. So. Um, some people explain that um, you know this. Some people have godly purilpa uh, uh, or um, devil purilpa or this the character something like that. Some are here to do all the bad stuff. Some are here to do all the good stuff, and some are just here to do nothing. <laughs> something like that. So. Um, uh, in order to explain this word, uh, you know, this term further, it uh, starts with the word um, oi. Oi. Um, oi means uh, sadness or it means some kind of uh, tie. Tie. So, um, I guess it's like an English word, oh, oh, oh. You saw something and you, you are shocked and you are, oh. Something like that. It's kind of hard to explain this, you know, this small, you know, this just uh, emotional, you know, this sparks, uh, and why we, you know, this, uh, ex you know, this say it with just uh, these uh, words like ah, oh, <laughs> something like that. So first, there is some kind of connection and tie. So imagine you are walking in the, some beggar's street and you see old man, drunk old man, begging for. A, money and uh, you uh, you do not have connection with it you you are not developing any connection with it um, so you leave it and then you see a young boy is begging for food he's skinny he's like you know this hungry stuff uh, but you have a really bad you know, cold heart and you do not have any connection but then you see a young girl with a baby and you say oh Oh no. Why? Something like that. So you decide to give some money. So uh, this uh, oi is turns into oing, meaning bendy, soft, and softness and stuff. So you, ha you have first created a connection, then you develop some kind of a sound in this bendiness or softness towards this, and you decide to give the Charity, you're uh, creating uh, goodness, charity, virtues, whatever you call it, and it turns into a boing, b b as added in the front. Uh, why b as added in the front? Well, it, I guess it is because of how we say God. God in Mongolian is borhang, and it's it starts with the b. I guess um, your God starts with the g, so it's. Uh, Goodness is the best term. So, um, according to our beliefs, uh, God and goddesses created this um, realm uh, where you cannot avoid the sin. Um, sin is basically uh, when you hurt somebody or when you lie someone. And uh, hurting somebody or something is like uh, eating. You know this. Uh, your cells want to consume other cells, so you have to eat meat, plants, and all these uh, uh, juicy fruits and stuff. So um, you're, uh, you know, this you're a bad, bad sinner. But why, why, why you know, in this, um, you know, this why we have this strange feeling that this is wrong? But we must have to do it in order to live. It is um, wrong to abuse those goats and sheep and you know cows and um, you know this um, have this tasty meat, abusing all these uh, in chickens and stuff, uh, in order to create wealth and stuff. But uh, you know this, you thank God for this great sin. You know this. Um, so uh, we have developed the idea that there can't be you know this. Goodness, if you do it a lot, you will not go in this 
hell uh, to ju you know this, to be judged by this um, in this um, the ruler of hell something like that so this is my you know, this one of the failed attempts I guess uh, Moss and other living has no respect for the Ilkhan because it's something is growing on the <laughs> on his face so uh, yeah mm. So um, according to our Mongolian myth, he's the one who c uh, created the uh, the parts of the world, and he is the is, you know his time, he's the uh, judge, and he's the mighty Khan. So um, he judges according to his will. Uh, he will ask, uh, "Do you have child?" And if you say no, it's uh, bad for you. Uh, same with you know this in the Middle Ages, um, Mongolian Khan uh, will judge you, and if if you claim to stolen you know, this horse, you have to uh, in this give back ten horses. Uh, if you shit poor, uh, he will ask, uh, do you have a child? So if you have a child, the child is given to a military or uh, served uh, some. Uh, you know, this lords or something like that. So having a child is important. Um, you know, basically, fulfilling those nine wishes is like important. Uh, so um, Buddhist will you know this explain uh, what is a good deed. It is simply you know this uh, avoiding what the Buddha does claim it as a sin. Uh, drinking alcohol is a sin. So if you are avoiding alcohol, uh, you know, this as much as as much as is possible, it's like you are doing a goodness, something like that. Or um, if you are avoiding to kill something, as much as it is possible, um, you are doing a great goodness to this world, something like that. So um, in the case of Christians, it seems you know this um, worshiping to this uh, to their God. And their God acts like he did not create this world, and um, he despises certain st stuff in this world. It's kind of you know, this is strange. And um, the quote, the quote from the Jesus: "It is easier for a uh, rich, uh, you know, it's easier for a camel to pass through a needle of a eye of a needle than a rich person go to heaven." Uh, this is some, somewhat, you know, this for a Mongolian illogical, stupid teaching. Seriously, uh, we believe that uh, "boying" is a word very close to a uh, uh, "buying," meaning rich. You simply misspell one, you know, this word uh, "u" with "a," "boying." Or buying something like that. So um, we believe that mm, you know, this rich person is capable of creating greater good deeds than a shit poor person. Rich person has this intellectual, you know, this power, uh, like you know, this dude walking in the street and uh, giving money. Rich people usually do charity. Rich people usually uh, do good stuff. Um, rich, uh, in the case of a rich, I'm not m saying in you know, the super rich. Um, I'm talking about the middle class, people who work, people who uh, know uh, the value of money, etc. etc. So saying that you know these rich people cannot go to heaven. Uh, and uh, like Buddhists, you need to refuse some the materialist stuff. It's uh, you know this stupid, illogical teachings that these uh, religions have. So in the case of a nine wishes, you have boying and uh, you know, the good deeds, and you also have you know this wealth. So uh, out of you know this nine, two is basically all about money, money, uh, not third time, money and money. What something like that? So, um, of course, you know this rich person is someone who is abusing the workers, abusing the livestock, and uh, gaining all the you know this uh, stuff. But um, these people can create you know this um, good stuff. Uh, you don't have to be close to the people in order to good to do a good stuff. You can be working on a laboratory uh, to create. A, 
a medicine that will save the uh, millions of lives in the future. And um, such, you know, these people should be remembered, something like that, as they did a good deeds, something like that. So um, we also believe that this uh, dude is also judged like that, and say, you know, this. Um, it seems you 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 did a lot of sin, but a lot of people seems to be praying for your soul, uh, and uh, you seems to be um, you were a good person towards them. So I will let you um, reborn again, or uh, you know this what kind of life form you want to reborn, or if you want to, you can go to another realm or heaven, something like that. So yeah. Um, you cannot ask, you know, this poor person, you know, this, can you carry this bag for me, you know, this, go, you know, this, there, something like that. So, um, since they have, you know, if you have a poor uh, mind, you cannot help people. So, uh, uh, somewhat generous, somewhat rich mind usually helps each other. And such a people usually, uh, we believe, that usually goes to a better places. Something like that. Well, um, I think I lost my, you know, this uh, somewhat, you know, this way where I was, what I go was, was going to talk about. And um, yeah, I, I guess I must end the video here. And um, I do believe that my subscribers are generous people and they are a, a very capable people who, who can put a like in this I will <laughs> I want your charity um, on this video well uh, that's pretty much for today and um, thanks for watching